Of course, that was an incredibly simple project, just an animated logo of a few seconds. Now though, I'm going to put it to a bit more of a challenging test with a fight sequence. So I'll just create a new project, right click, open video, find the video file that I need, click open. And this is actually a mock-up of a commercial shot by director Matt Rutledge. He filmed it all on an iPhone in an hour. Let's just take a quick look at part of it before we start adding any sound to it. So we've got two guys walking along and then one of them attacks the other. And then we've got punches, we've got kicks, we've probably got various different grunt sounds that we want to add in and we'll probably put some sound design in for this bit as well. Let's take it back to the beginning then. And the first thing I'm going to do is just add a drone. So I'm going to hit D. That one looks longer than I need. So select it, press command down arrow, maybe that's the right kind of length. And let's just see what we've got. And also as I go, I'm going to hit R and T at the point where the fight begins. So remember that's going to trigger a rise and a transition. Okay, about there. And I'll just take another quick listen to that. That's quite good. Maybe I also want to add a sound design hit, so I'm just going to take it back to this point just after the rise, and then press H. Let's take a listen to that. Quite good. And now I'm just going to add in a couple more rises, hits, and transitions, specifically during this section or at the end of it here. So there, all three, rise, hit, transition, all in one go. Let's see what we've got so far before we start adding in some Foley sounds. Great. Next I want to show you a great feature where you can basically assign sounds to keys on your keyboard and trigger them in real time. So first thing to do is go to the search bar. I want to put the footsteps in for this section. So I'm going to choose footsteps. Remember it comes with 20,000 sounds so there's quite a few to choose from. Footsteps on concrete and he's wearing trainers, sneakers. So let's choose, I'll try sneaker two. Let's take a listen to a couple of these. Okay. They should be fine. So what I'm going to do is right click on one of them, choose a sign trigger for footsteps to number one. And in the trigger section here, you can see that key one has been populated with all of those sounds. So all 16 will be randomly triggered when I hit the number one on the keyboard. So I'm just going to go back to the sequence. And initially, because he actually takes a step at the very beginning, I'm just going to put that one in before I do the others, so I'm just going to hit one there. Now I think I will actually play this slightly slower than real time by hitting the letter L and see what I can do. So I'm just going to start it running and then hit the number one to trigger those footstep sounds. Here we go. Okay. And so we can hear those, I'll just mute the other tracks and see what we've got. That's quite good so far. Of course, we could refine these quite easily later on. Next, I'm going to go back into the search section and I'm going to deselect footsteps and actually choose sound effects. And then fighting, we want to add some of these punches and so on. And you can see it's come up with an array of different sounds, all of which can also be assigned to those trigger keys. So I'm going to choose punch knuckle. Take a listen to those. I quite like them. So right click, assign trigger to number two in this case. And at the bottom, we've got those assigned. Next, I'm going to choose male effort. So I want some of these vocalizations and just right click it and assign this to key number three. Like that and now I'm going to do my best in real time to trigger these punches and vocalizations. Mm -hmm. 